Welcome back, online learners. It's Mr. Matheson. Nobody's here, so I'm gonna take my mask off, even though you'll see me with the mask on from now on. Um, a few of you had expressed like a little bit of concern about coming back. I completely get that. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through the building. I know you know where the seventh grade stuff is, but just as a simple reminder, this is not meant to insult you, I promise. But just in case you got some butterflies, do the best I can. When we come in tomorrow, there'll be a lot of redirection. Just roll with it. Just trust things and just follow along and you'll be fine. I promise. So if you come in the main entry, sometimes if you get off the bus, you'll have to go down by where my classroom is and you'll see what I mean, but we'll figure it out. You'll go with the flow coming in the main. We know that we come in and the office is still left. Okay. These doors will be locked till I think it's 640. Um, so when you come in, if you're here earlier, you've got the cafeteria. Now what we have is we have hand sanitizer stations now for you when you come to lunch. We also have at the tables numbers, so there's spacing. Now we have kids at tables, we have kids on the stage, and then we actually have kids down this hallway, which remember is the hallway you'd go and turn left to seventh grade, turn right to art band. Um, get to locker rooms and things like that for the gym. Um, one thing I do want to mention is since we're in the lunchroom is lunches and breakfasts are free. Okay. It's a federal, um, mandate. So when you get here in the morning, you'll be able to open up the Chromebook and you, you might even be able to do it today. I'm not sure. Um, you might be able to go to the Chromebook and order your breakfast already and it gets delivered to your first period class. For you and then when you get in here for lunch your lunch is sitting here at the desk or at the table you know what i mean sitting there for you uh the water fountains i want to mention this because a lot of you are all about drinking things these don't work i don't know if this will yes <laughs> the water bottle does so we're encouraging water bottles you're allowed to refill them okay so We've got the going down the seventh grade hallway. You're not gonna have to do that unless you're going to band, choir, things like that. And I'm gonna assume that you guys know what you're doing there. Oh, there you go. And that 1231 is actually now incorrect because it's been extended by the government. So we've got the main office. Oh, hey, there's me. Yeah, you're seeing me in shorts and a hoodie. That'll never happen. But you got Mrs. Patterson. And then you remember to the right, we got Mr. Brown. And then we have our new assistant principal, um, Mrs. Udris. Okay, and they're gonna be so helpful for you. We come down the hallway a little bit more. Now, this is where I'm wrong. I'm down the middle of the hallway. Our policy this year is that you come over to the right and your right shoulder is kind of up against the wall, six feet apart from the people in front of you. Now, not everybody's doing six feet, but you gotta at least keep the three, four feet, guys. You just need to. So we come down here. Hopefully you remember the attendance office and back there was not necessarily ISA, but the clinic if we need it. Um, but the attendance office for Mrs. Fillion, okay. If you have Mrs. Manning for um, technical education, she's right down this hallway. You probably had her last year, okay. And like I said, this is not, stay on the right side, Matheson. This is not meant to insult you. We have Mrs. Simpson, who's been getting groups organized and doing a lot of really cool stuff with people. The library, now the library is not really open right now. We're not having kids come in and do things. I believe that um, there are ways to get things and they have actually now grab bags of uh, makerspace things that they're doing. Um, and I'm sure Mrs. Corse will be out in the hallway to welcome you and say hi. You know how she is. She cares about you guys so much. Okay, so here's where it's gonna be different, okay? When you get to this little T junction, as we call it, this is where you went down past the restrooms. And now these will be your restrooms this year, boys and girls for eighth grade. What we're doing, and I'll just come over here, you'll be on the eighth grade schedule in between, in during your first, your third, your sixth and your seventh, your core classes, we will break from class, come to the bathrooms and wash our hands. So we go right hand side, down the hallway, six feet, wash your hands. I've been trying to take you guys outside for a little bit after that. Not everybody does, it is what it is. We come down, hopefully you remember the courtyard and then you have your science classes. Mrs. Magyar 
and Mrs. Grooms O'Donnell, okay? So you would have gone down to the other science classes there in a moment, but that's as far as you're gonna go. Once again, get back on the right side, Matheson. Okay, so we come back down the eighth grade hallway now. And I don't know if any of you would have had a real reason to come down here. You may have come down to where the computer lab was. The computer lab is no longer the computer lab. If you have Mrs. Crawford, she is in where the DL lab or the computer lab was. So she's set up in there. Um, I don't think we have kids coming in these doors. Hey, there's my car, yay. Okay, back to the right-hand side. And now we're in the eighth grade hallway. So think about what teachers that you have. We have Mrs. Salva okay for french and some of our advanced math classes then we have mrs schneider and mrs oakley and then mrs shinko now this is the cool thing if you guys have me you're on what's called the silver team if you would share this with somebody that doesn't have me then they're more than likely on the blue team and all the blue team teachers have this little blue thing up. I didn't see it on Miss Grooms O'Donnell, but I mean, you guys will be able to figure that out. It's one or the other. Um, Mrs. Shaw is on the exact opposite side of Mrs. Shinko. So most of you have both of those teachers. So it's boom, boom. So that works out okay. And then we're almost into the hallway and this is where some of you will be coming in. We just have three classes left. Mr. Tusick okay which most of you would not have if you have me mr joseph and then my class so some of you for first period you might be coming in these doors and just coming right to me we're not doing well we are starting a locker system i don't know how they're gonna i think they're gonna introduce that in first period we're not gonna go to lockers when we come in it's gonna be during your hand washing break during first period unless something has changed Things could have changed over the last couple of days. But this will be, in theory, how most of the classrooms will look. Some form of, you know, we're trying to have it as three foot by three foot as much as we can. Everybody will have the barriers, all right? And they're not perfect, okay, but they, they do work. And like in this class, when we share or work, maybe we have the person turn here. So there's always a barrier in between you guys. That's that's my goal. I wanna get you talking, I wanna get you working, but we always wanna have a barrier between you, okay? So we've got that, am I forgetting anything else? I don't know. Um, in every single classroom, there's hand sanitizer. Um, the kids don't like the way it smells, at least um, this hand sanitizer, we have it everywhere. Um, but we have hand sanitizer here if you wanna do it. And then in my class, I always, I've had, this hand sanitizer since the first day and i i mean i told the kids that they could use it so i'm just trying to think if there's anything else uh we spray the desks after you guys leave classes so we get them cleaned as best as we can um and other than that you guys just go with the flow don't stress out, out about anything um i hope that this video was not like once again i'm not trying to insult you but i know some people were worried if you have uh, buddies friends that are on like the other teams that don't have me that have mr joseph or miss k if they're nervous please forward this to them because it's meant to be for you guys to just relax a little bit i don't know if this actually helped but i hope it helped you a little bit just whew, it's gonna be okay we're doing our best when you guys come in tomorrow yeah, you want to learn as much as you can, but just get comfortable. Every teacher understands the anxiety. We're all feeling it, okay? It's a totally different year. We're still going to be live streaming in the middle of classes because not everybody's come back, and all that's okay. So I'm going to send this out this morning. If you do have any concerns at all, please share with me because I'm going to be working, and we could Google Meet even one-on-one -on -one if you need some support or if you just got a question. I'll do the best I can. I don't know everything. So I think I'm talking way too much now. So have a great day. We look forward to seeing you back at school tomorrow. Bye, guys.